Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome everyone to the MGN channel. So let's talk about a game which I can't bring any footage up for some reason. I can't bring my personal footage up so we can talk about this and uh, I will try my best because this is a really cool game I've been playing on the Switch. It's also on the Xbox and the PlayStation 4, maybe 5. I don't know if it's on the next gens. All I know is I've been playing on the Switch and I've been enjoying it. And that game is Vigor. Oh, Vigor is a poor man's escape from Tarkov style. That's that's how I can pronounce it. So your character in Vigor has to go out on the land, scavenge for guns, uh, ammo parts, weapon parts, and also parts for your house and garden. And every time you get out of there, you end up getting equipment. There are also airdrops in the game where everyone is going for it. There's not just you. Again, like I said, the Escape from Tarkov style. There's also other people scavenging and looting. If they see you, they ain't going to hesitate to say hi or how you doing. They're going to shoot the heck out of you, no matter what. To be fair, when I first started the game off, it was very hard for me, so I kind of spent most of my time uh, running around, hiding, and just scavenging little bits by little bits. And uh, I've been I've been really enjoying it. I have really have been enjoying it. And to take out an enemy is very satisfying in the game. Uh, you've got so many different variety of different guns. Uh, I thought it was just going to be a pay to win feeling. But uh, the more you play the game itself, and the more you upgrade your your area of your your base, um, the more you can get like crowns and other sorts of stuff to kind of like help you. Get more equipment, I guess, or level up. But this 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 home hub of yours, this this house, is only yours. No one else can go in it. So if that's a cool thing they they have they've done, so it's just you go back home, uh, get as much of uh, equipment as you can on the outside, bring it back home, and use it to upgrade your house. Uh, there's no invading of people's bases or anything because it's it's a completely set. It's your personal area. That's all it is. There's a there's a cool little target range for you to practice your weapons you find or create. Uh, there are different types. Of, there's so many different weapons, and uh, I, I don't think I can give you any advice um, with this game because it's 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 if you're not good at it you're not good at it if you're good at it then you, you're good at it you know that that kind of thing now it's a le it's it's a drop in and drop out anytime so once you get what you needed you can just leave in one of the random uh escape zones but you do have a countdown and those countdowns you've got to watch out for because other people might be there and you got as long as you're down to 10 then you're you're out of there but if you're still counting down and someone starts attacking you they can kill you um, that is something to watch out for. Uh, the loot drops are interesting. There are so many different things you can do in that entire area. Um, there are like, you know, you can you can hijack the, the air drop package. You can either set a booby trap in, set a radiation level in. Uh, we'll come around to that in a second. Or send it to another place, or even stealth air drop. Um, if you pick up the airdrop, uh, you're going to see a lot of people coming after you. It, you will be marked on the map with a flash indicated. So it'll be like, they'll see you for like one second and then it will disappear for like three seconds and then like that. And everyone will be gunning for that airdrop you've picked up. So make sure you get out of there as fast as you can. And there's also cool little things to find around the map. Uh, like little trolls, music, um, lighters as well. Little collectibles. And... Um, I've collected a few, which is quite nice. And this is a game I can just literally go into a different room and chill out and play and enjoy. Good game. Uh, if you haven't got Escape from Tarkov and you've got a console, unfortunately it's not out on PC. Uh, I don't know when it's going to... They haven't even... No, no, I, I know for a fact. They said they haven't even got any plans for it to come out on PC. I don't know why. It's the creators of DayZ, so... I guess because of all the abuse <laughs> they got with DayZ. Uh, I'd be, uh, yeah, I, I don't blame them for just leaving it on console. Uh, my personal take, again, I enjoyed playing it if I'm in the other room, just chilling. Uh, the only problem is I can't stream it, I can't record it, because I'm using the Switch. But, again, it's a good game to just chill out on the sofa too. And that is Vulgar today. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I couldn't get no clips or any cool footage of me or any funny bits. At, again, it's on the Switch. I can't do anything. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a capture card, unfortunately, so... 
Oh well, oh well. You guys take care and have a wonderful day. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button and come and chat with us on uh, the Discord. You guys take care and have a wonderful day.